Within iClone, there seems to be so many types of characters. G1, G2, G3 standard characters, non-standard characters, non-human or creature-based characters, and now, G Evolver characters with G4 heads? Whoa, that seems complicated. So in this tutorial, I will explain the differences between all the characters. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's first take a look at a non-standard character. Non-standard characters mean that they have basic biped bone structure that is universal for most characters in animation created by 3ds Max and Maya. Therefore, if the character was originally created by typical 3D modeling tools and that character was brought into iClone, that character can do all the animation templates that any typical biped character can do. The only difference is, non-standard characters will not have the capability for facial animation. Plus, it is comprised of one complete mesh meaning from head to toe, the character is only one piece. So you cannot exchange body parts like the upper torso or the shoes for any of the non-standard characters. Next is non-human characters. This means the character uses its own unique bone structure and mesh, or meshes, to complete that model. This means animation templates in iClone wouldn't work unless that animation is designed specifically for that kind of bone structure. Creature Base is a subset of non-human characters. But Creature Base goes a step further and the bones have been separated from the mesh so users could attach props and accessories to those bones to create their own unique characters. Okay, so we covered all the special cases. Let's take a look at the standard characters, which are known as Generation 1, Generation 2, and Generation 3, or for simplicity, we call them G1, G2, and G3 characters. The different generations each have their own unique qualities, but all share the same basic concept of the following. All standard characters are made up of five pieces, head, upper and lower torso, hands and feet. Therefore, anytime you see the word standard characters, it will mean the character's body part are all interchangeable. G1 characters are similar to non-standard characters because they have only one mesh, so therefore no clone cloth, meaning you cannot change the clothes of G1 characters. Plus, G1 characters lack something called connectors, so interchanging the bodies would not be exactly precise. G2 characters have a single mesh, as well as a dual layer mesh known as clone cloth. Therefore, you can change the single mesh or the skin's color of that character. And then select the dual layer mesh or clone cloth for that character and change the textures to change the different clothing for your characters. But G2 characters have connectors, so the body parts can be exchanged and you can see the different body parts will morph to fit together. G3 characters are similar to G2 characters. They can interchange body parts seamlessly. They also have dual layer mesh known as clone cloth. But the mesh for G3 characters have been fine tuned with more precise details. Therefore, G2 and G3 characters cannot interchange. Plus, G3 characters have AML scripts of easy to access common animation types. G3 characters also have the G4 head upgrade. G4 head has over 80 bones so the facial animation is even more precise and natural. G Evolver characters are characters created using the Evolver iClone character creation tool. That tool has two outputs, non-standard characters and G Evolver characters. G Evolver standard characters are really cool since you can design them exactly how you want them to look in every detail. Plus, the standard characters which are similar to G3 characters because they use animation templates including G4 natural face puppeteering. You can interchange body parts. To interchange between G Evolver characters, you have seamless results. So therefore, between two G Evolver characters, you can switch upper, lower, and shoes freely. However, if you interchange parts between G3 and G Evolver characters, there will be small gaps around the hands and around the waist. So depending on your video production needs, you can consider how to not have this gap shown. However, both G3 characters and G Evolver characters use G4 heads, so you can switch the heads between those characters without any problems. G Evolver characters' skin and clothing colors are all part of the same texture map. Therefore, to change those textures or skin, 
you have to modify the texture map to have the desired outcome. Hair for G Evolver characters is considered an accessory, and when it is first in the scene, it is only one-sided. Therefore, as you can see here, her hair appears transparent. I can fix this by selecting this accessory on the scene manager, then go to the materials and texture settings on the modify panel. Scroll down to the very bottom of that section and select two-sided. Now you can see that her hair doesn't appear to be transparent. Since G Evolver hair is an accessory, you can save the hair as an accessory, then apply that hair to other characters, such as here with Janna. To learn more about G3 and G Evolver characters, please see the help file for the Evolver tool. If you notice sometimes when you change heads of your character or load new images for the face fitting wizard, occasionally the face skin tone and the body tone don't match. This is caused by the face images applied to G3 characters have a way of generating automatic skin tone. If you wish to have the skin tone of the body similar to the face, first go to the skin, then under materials and texture settings on the modify panel, choose face. Then find the effects all materials and check that box on. This will cause all the materials to match the skin tone of the face. You can do it in reverse order. Perhaps you want to have the skin tone of the hands or that of the upper body. Just select the part of the skin you want to use as a source, then select Affect All Materials. And voila, all the skin will match one another. You may have noticed that G Evolver characters appear darker in their iClone scenes. This is because the material settings are just a little different than those of the G3 standard characters. To adjust the characters to not be so dark, go to Skin and choose a part of the body, such as Face. Then go to Materials and Texture Settings. Scroll all the way down to find these color swatches. For G3 characters, these settings are usually set to color white, so we can do the same. Set to Fuse, Ambient, and Specular all to the color of white. Now you can see the face is more correctly lit. To apply these settings to the other parts of the body, just use the paint bucket and splash the upper torso, hands, lower torso, and the feet. So that is all the basic information and tips for characters in iClone. I hope this can help you to better understand all the different types of characters and what they can do. Good luck and have fun.